What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we are on Marwell Manor. That is right. Oxygen David map. Beautiful. Beautiful map. Extremely well done. We are going to be doing a little bit of a let's play on here. Now, I have added some things. We've got a scarecrow here. We've got our little pupperino in there. Hello, little pupperino. He was climbing the side of the house a second ago. I think he's like... Uh, <laughs> Farmer men's bacon. So let's do that. Let's hop in here. And I'm going to show you guys a couple little areas that we have changed and that we have kind of messed with a little bit beforehand. So you understand these are different. First things first, I've added a pathway through here. So this pathway is not normally here. I've added it. We've got a water tank right there. New mod just came out not long ago. Go through here, see if we can squeeze through here. Not likely. Oh, can we do it? Yeah. That is everything that I have changed and added and all that good stuff down here at the bottom of the farm. Now, at the top of the farm, we've done quite a few things. I've added a sprayer right here. So that is new. I've also went and added a bunch of different seed and fertilizer by points through here because for this map, we have worker buy seed and fertilizer and fuel for that matter all turned off as well as all the other stuff so we will have to fill all of that up and just for fun we have added a silo extension now i've added the silo extension just in case we want to do root crop it's not there for more extension we have 700,000 liters i think we're okay but nonetheless we are good there. Now, what we're going to do is head over to the shop because we are going to buy new vehicles to use. Right now, this is the only thing we have, a little UTV, ATV, however you want to call it, utility vehicle. It's all good is what it is. So let's roll over. You guys didn't know, this is the little uh, shortcut right through here through to our store. I do have weeds turned off. However, those weeds still grew for some reason. Oh, and we're spinning. So, at first I was thinking, you know what? Let's do a John Deere farm. Let's do a John Deere farm. But I started thinking more and more. I was like, you know, I want to do a John Deere farm. However, I don't want to do just John Deere. I don't want to do only John Deere. So we're not going to do only John Deere. We're going to get a little bit of this and a little bit of that. We're going to have multiple things. So we will have some John Deere, but we're going to have other stuff too. So here we are at the John Deere Hunt Forest Group dealer. Come in. Let's open the door. And let's find what we want. First and foremost, we have $2.3 million. This is from our loan. So understand that we have a $1.5 million loan. And that was also from selling the base game vehicles. So... I already know what our big tractor is going to be. We're going to buy that immediately. We are going for the John Deere 8RT configuration. I think, yeah, you know what? Let's throw a weight on there. We are going big. There is no going home. We're going big. 420 horsepower and wheel setups. At first, I was thinking maybe going wide, but I just think it looks kind of funny. So we're going to stick with normal purchase. There is our first purchase. Second purchase is going to be a smaller tractor, something that we can work the animals with, get from point A to point B, all that good stuff. Now, of course, the Cal Valtra kind of stuck out to me at first, but there's other things that we can stick front loaders on. For example, we could get a Fast Track 4220, though it's a little big for what I was wanting to do. Also, we could go for a Fint, Fint 700, which is kind of the way, it's kind of the way I'm moving right now. A John Deere 6M, we could go with that. Unfortunately, we've already bought a John Deere, so that brand is off limits. I'm not planning on buying a huge Fint, so I'll tell you what, I think that is going to be our animal tractor. This is going to be what we try and tend to the animals with and everything. Um... You know, I go back and forth between old fent and new fent. I think for this map, we're going to go with old fent. Something different. Something a little bit more interesting. So, trailer board tires. 
I'm thinking sticking with regulars or wides with weights, something like that. We're definitely not going narrows with this thing. So let's go wheel weights, just regular old wheel weights. We don't need a whole lot of horsepower, so base horsepower is going to be fine for us, and we will get that front loader. So let's buy that, and while we're at it, let's go ahead and purchase the front loader for it. Now you can use the FZ30 or the FZ60. Uh, we have more, wait, how much horsepower do we have? Oh gosh, I don't even know. We have 165 horsepower, so it will accommodate the FZ60, though I don't think we need it. So we're going to go with the 30. And Fent, yeah, do, 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 Fent Classic right there. That is the one that we want. Front loader is purchased. And this is going to be what we use for moving bales and all that kind of good stuff. But we're going to get a pallet fork because that'll do just fine. So Fent Classic on that as well. Purchase. Got it. Now, we also need something to clean up the animals with. And for that, I'm thinking going with either a Lieber or something down here, maybe a Massey or the Manitou. Now, we do have a John Deere one as well. We've kind of modded that in. But I'm thinking about going with the Massey here, because the Massey looks good. I mean, it's just a good looking little thing. So that's what we're going to go with. Now do we go with Trailer Borg or Nokian tires. I think because we're working in a dirt environment, we're going to go with the Trailer Borg tires. And we're going to go over to Telehandlers. And yeah, we're just going to get us the bucket. Shovel bucket, 2,600 liters. That's going to be more than enough for us. So now we've got a large tractor, we've got a small tractor, we've got a telehandler, and we need a medium tractor, and we need a harvester. So let's go with harvesters first. We start with the Massey Activa 7347. Base game kind of is what it is. Now, we have huge fields. I mean, absolutely massive, massive fields. Huge. I would go with the ideal, but there are no headers that fold that match it, and I don't like that. So we're going to go with the New Holland CR1090, at least for now. I know that's a huge harvester to start with, but we have magnificently awesome fields. I mean, they're huge. So we're going to go with this. We're going to purchase that, and we are going to get the header to match as of right now. We're not doing corn, so we don't have to worry about getting headers for that. However, Draper header, bam, 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 purchase, yes please. Thank you very much. So let's take a look at what we've got so far. Let's hop in here. We've got a pretty good amount of stuff already. We need some more. Right now there's only two tractors, and only one of them can do field work, or is going to be doing field work rather. And that's a wall. So here we are. Not a bad looking group to start with. What I'm going to do is kind of get this area cleaned up. Some of these tractors, we're going to get them and move them off the, well, off the area. I'm just going to kind of stage them over here. That kind of thing. So let's get all these guys moved out of the way. So we've got room for all of our implements and stuff like that. Cleared out, ready to go. One thing I did, I did get rid of the Fent. So I realized that it was just a little big for our small tractor. And I was treating it as a small tractor, and it's not. Not at all. I did get the arm and track at first, but the turning radius is really, really bad. And this game requires a great turning radius to get in and out of spots. Which is why we are going to go with the Lin track main color see this is the great thing we can change this and i am a big fan of all black so we are going to go with a mean a mean little tractor will brands we can go trailer borg or nokian and of course we've got really interesting wheel setups here so we've got our normals wheel weights wides wides with weights and twins which are great so we're going to go with just wheel weights and front loader attacher mm, all black that's right so for that we also need front loader attachers we're going to go with here we go jet black and same thing here 
main color jet black boom 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 that is a mean looking little tractor and i'm loving it absolutely loving it so that's that we've got that but now we need a medium sized tractor because we don't have one so there's a couple that we can go for we don't need a front loader on this which is perfect another thing we could do is we could go for something down here i was thinking maybe an optum so the thing about the optum is we can go up to 300 horsepower and that's really when you start being able to use larger implements and we can put narrow twins on here and the narrow twins don't destroy the crop when you have crop destruction turned on at least last time i checked they don't Oh, we we'll have to maybe double check that. I have to go back and watch my own video. But we could go with something like that or something through here. The 87, a little big, and we already have a Massey. So we can't have a Massey and we can't have a New Holland. So I think a case is just right. And I do love this tractor. We're going to go huge engine, big, all the way up 313 horsepower. And we are going to stick, I think, just for now narrow twins on here because you guys know i love those so let's purchase that bam now we're under uh or we're under a million dollars now which is kind of <laughs> oh no you know so we got that that's good now let's go into our tools first things first tipper so we start with the tdk302 right here i like that but i think it's a little small for the large fields that we've got so we're thinking something bigger up through here. I'm going to go with the Transbase 8000. We've ran with the Crampy trailers in the past. Of course, they work just fine, but we've run with those before already. So I want to do something a little different. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, all the, all the cell points are outside. So we're good here. So we could use this if we wanted to, and I do. Trailer Borgs or Michelin tires. We're going to keep the Trailer Borgs on there. Oh yes, yeah. so we got our tipper. We don't need headers, nothing through here, no beat technology, sugar cane. Plows, we have plowing turned off right now, having to do plowing. We can add that on later on if we want to kind of make our own fields, that kind of thing. But for now, we're good. Really what we need is a cedar. We need a big one. Now we've got 313 horsepower out of that one. So I'm thinking going Amazon Condor something like that it's big enough to where it's big but it's small enough to where it'll still work well with this map i think so we're going to go with one of those and it holds a lot of seed and a lot of fertilizer which is great next we need to get some fertilization so crop protection through here we've got some different options to go with both of these kind of rock the same thing the coon metris and the navigator uh we've had the metris before so that's why I'm thinking going with the Navigator. Bam, boom, kerpow. Next up is fertilizer technology. We do have lime needed turned on. So I think the best thing for this, at least to start with, is going to go with the Breedle, the smaller version. We're going to put the extension on the big extension. Wheel setups, we're going to stick with standard. And we are going to add the spreading unit just like that that should give us plenty of reach for everywhere we don't have manure or slurry yet but eventually we will we're not going to get them right now but eventually we're going to need to do that now also we are going to need some type of mowing apparatus there's a couple ways we could do this we could either get our own mowing tractor we could go for a big mower like the chrome big m 450 and what that's going to do that's going to allow us to get up grass it'll put it down for us we can collect it we're good to go it's pretty fast pretty easy and that's kind of the way i'm thinking right now because we've got a lot going on however our balance is not showing that that's a good idea but we've got just about everything else we need so i think right now we're getting pretty close to being good that's a i mean it's a lot of money Three hundred eight thousand. that's basically a tractor the mower and <laughs> the windrower which are all separate pieces which would take a while but we don't want to take a while 
we want to get work done as quick as possible. So we're going to go with that 9.9 .9 meter, about 10 meter working width. We've got about 100,000 liters left, or $100,000 left. Well, now what we need to do is figure out, are we going to do bales? How are we going to do that kind of thing? Are we going to wrap? Are we going to use a loading wagon? Either way, we're going to need some more money. So we've got to go in here, borrow, and that is it. That is the end of our rain right there. That's all we can do. So I'm thinking now, uh, we have $120,000 left. We could go ahead and get a baler now. Ooh, 150, jeez. We are running out of money, y'all, big time. We are running out of money big time, but this is the way to go. So we're gonna go with the Coon right here, earn $5,000. This is gonna make us some square bales. We are gonna do bales. We're not going to do loose. That way we can put everything in bales, keep it organized. We have $15,000 left. I think what we're gonna have to do is get everything over and maybe sell a few things before, uh, before we can buy anything else. We're gonna have to sell some crop. We do have some crop in storage, so let's go do that. We've got a really, really good price for soybeans down here at Glendale Stores. It's coming down, but it's still very, very good. So what we're going to try and do, we're going to take advantage of that. Hopefully, make a little bit of money off of this. Swing this baby around. See what we can pull out of here. I think it's about $1.5,000 per 1,000 liters. We got 31000 so we're looking around $45,000 roughly for this load. Let's see how we get along. We need a bell wrapper. <laughs> Come on, give us the things. All right, four hundred and or forty-nine thousand dollars for all that. Almost fifty thousand. Not too shabby. That was pretty darn good. And that's gonna send us over the mark that we need to get our last piece of equipment: the Kuhn SW4014 foil color. Ooh, do we go with pink? Do we go with green? I think we went with green last time, so let's go with black. Yeah! Purchase, yes please, thank you very much. Oh yeah. So we've got everything we need to get set up for the farm. What we've got to do now is we've got to get everything moved over, and I believe, oh don't hit me, I believe that everything is set up for barley already on the main field. So what we're going to have to do, get everything took over, brought to the farm put away where it needs to go we need to call in a couple favors see if we can get some animals in start producing wool for the sheep start producing manure and slurry for the cows hopefully rock and roll with that stuff we're not going to go crazy big with that i think uh 50 sheep and maybe I don't know, 20 or 30 cows something like that nothing too crazy i think anything more than that would be just too too much too much so to the farm we go everything has been put away everything has been taken to the farm that needs to be taken to the farm and we are rocking and rolling over here on field 15 the barley field oh yeah now when you start the game originally this needs everything and it has nothing it needs to be plowed needs to be fertilized all of that the lime included Unfortunately, you can't do that to a grown crop. So we are stuck harvesting this field the way it is with no extras. So we're going to have to do this entire place. We're not going to get the best possible yield that we could. But nonetheless, it's still free crop. Free crop sells for way more than you paid for it. That is a fact. And the great thing is too, with this crop, we get straw. What can we do when we get straw? We can do pigs and we can do cows. Guess what? We're on a cow farm. We are going to be doing cows. I don't know if I mentioned earlier on in the video or not. However, with the way everything is, we will not be doing power food, at least to start with. For our cows, we will be doing silage. That is correct. We will be giving them silage. Uh, or grass. Sometimes we may give them grass as well because we are going to be making grass bells. With grass bells, you can wrap them. We've got a bell wrapper. So hopefully, we'll be able to give them silage and they'll be happy. No TMR, unfortunately. 
but it is what it is, and it's okay. And we'll still be just fine. We still need a water trans, I will say that. We still need a water trans, but eh, it's fine for now. Well, that being said, guys, that is going to be it for today. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like. If you didn't enjoy, you know what button hit. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you guys out. With that being said, hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.